Now, and Jeff, you know, a lot of people think, well, we got all this yeah. rain. We should be out, right, of this drought, but no. Not quite yet, yeah. but I do think we're going to make a really sizable dent in it here as we head through mm -hmm. about the next month or so. But uh, in the immediate, of course, it's all about uh, the flooding that we could see as we move through the next seven days because it's not just one storm system. It's several that will be coming towards the Bay Area. So I did want to start off with this overview because, again, we're, we're all getting all of this different information coming at you. I want to make sure that we are are the source that's going to tell it exactly like it is. And you can see as we head through tomorrow's forecast, that's going to be the stronger storm with that heavier rain. Second one Saturday night and Sunday and next Monday and Tuesday. That also looks like a strong storm system. And even beyond this, we could see additional storms the way that long range forecast is looking. So if you're going around your house right now, you've got issues with the gutters, other things that need to be done. Uh, you just want to be able to start thinking about how you can get that done in between these different storm systems. And we also, I want to stress this, I just thought about this. Um, you know, when you go out, look up, make sure if you have a lot of big trees, there's not any limbs that are kind of hanging precariously because uh, we do not want, of course, anyone to get injured uh, by any of this storm activity. So here it is, very dangerous, powerful storm system. Now the heart of the storm system is going to be moving off to the north, but we're going to get that atmospheric river joining in with the frontal system, and that's what's going to boost up those rain totals. That's why we have this flood watch here for the entire Bay Area Wednesday and Thursday. The ground so saturated, excessive rain in a 24 hour period is going to create some flooding issues. Also, those creeks, streams and rivers are going to be running very high and fast. And I said it earlier, but make sure if you come across some water or upon it, you don't drive through it. If you don't know the depth, it only takes one to two feet of water to actually carry a car away. So be careful out there as we get you into the timeline of this. You'll see tonight just a spotty chance, but but then things get going as we head through tomorrow morning with those heavier pockets, 5 to 7 a.m. And here's the thing about this. We'll be under a little bit of a break at 10 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. It's like, okay, what happened with this? But don't let your guard down. By tomorrow afternoon, we get hit hard up into the North Bay. Then that swings down to the South Bay by 9 o'clock at night. That again is through tomorrow. And then we're going to continue with some on and off pockets of some heavier rain into Thursday morning, Thursday afternoon, and then eventually we'll see this move on out of here by Thursday night. So rainfall totals on this. We're still good for about one to three inches for the lower elevations. Maybe some of the little bit of a lower number down towards the South Bay will get rain shadowed in San Jose, maybe around Fremont, but still very powerful storm. A lot of the Bay Area looking for a uh, two inches, maybe even higher. We talked about the wind gusts will begin to increase tomorrow morning and by the evening we're looking at 20 to 50 plus mile per hour winds that could take down those trees. Sierra snow stacking up in feet. Wouldn't be surprised if we see some road closures tomorrow uh, with some on and off snow next seven days up to 45 inches. Kingville 36 there in twin bridges on the seven day forecast. Again, storm arrives tomorrow. Second one Saturday, third one next Monday and also Tuesday. Uh, we're going to have more updates, of course, all tonight, tomorrow through the duration of all of this weather. Uh, you can see it right there, as we mentioned extremely active next seven days. So it's going to be that pattern where we clear out from one storm, get ready for the next, continue to watch out for flooding issues, really next seven to 10 days. Yeah, and like you said, heed all the warnings. All right, Jeff, thank you.